What's up guys? Alright, so I'm not really making too much of a long video today. I just wanted to make an update video today and talk to you guys about some of the plans and some of the mods that I have ordered that are coming and some of the future mods that I wanted to discuss with you guys and maybe uh, you know just talk about just present some of the future ideas that I had uh, and things like that. So let's get into it. First off, I got a call to access port. Woohoo! So, uh, stage one is very near. Um, you know, I already ordered it. I got it from, uh, I got a pretty good deal. Uh, got it uh, technically used, but I mean, it's not like these, you know, most of these access ports, they retain its value because it's not like one of those units you put under your car or, you know, in the, under the hood or wherever the case. It's inside, it's inside the cabin with you and it's usually in a covered uh, manner. You know, yeah, there might be a few scratches here and there just from normal wear and tear, but I'm not even expecting that from the unit that I, I'm, I'm supposed to be getting. I saw the pictures on of, of it and things like that, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll be giving more information once I get that. Second thing, I just also, from Mass Auto Works, um, Pete hooked me up with a uh, Go Fast Bits a hybrid blow-off valve. Um, I forgot the exact name of it. Uh, I'll most likely have it you know in a little caption somewhere right here uh, just to let you guys know but it's it's like one of the best units in the market uh, really good reviews um, really good reliability from what I hear and highly recommended by Pete so I'm, I'm all for it because you know what at the end of the day um, me and Pete talk a lot and we talk about you know a lot of the mods that are out in the market and he tells me about a lot of the cool stuff so I will be um, having an install for the blow uh, the go fast bits blow off valve um, it shouldn't be that hard of an install um, uh, it, I, I should be able to just take the engine cover uh, the beauty cover from the bottom of the car just pull that off and I should be able to access the stock uh, recirculating blow off valve not blow off so I gotta get to the bypass valve I gotta pull that out and I gotta install the blow off valve so it's 50-50 hybrid and this is an adjustable piece where you can have it 80 uh, recirculating 20 atmospheric or you can have it 80 atmospheric and 20 recirculating depending on how you want it so um, those are the two mods that I coughed up a good chunk of money for so as far as uh, underneath the hood goes and performance mods I think I'm gonna be saving up for the next uh, maybe month or so um, I have a few products that I've been uh, presenting on my channel to you guys. Uh, the turn signals, uh, the LED conversion turn signals, and also uh, the daytime running light bulb that I got. Uh, so uh, I, those are the, the two methods that I'm trying to make some income so I can promote the project, uh, the Arexa project as a whole. And if you guys are in the market for some you know, daytime running lights or if you're in the market for some you know, LED turn signals to give you that flush look. Trust me, these are one of the best options in the market and I provide a whole kit, so you don't really don't need anything. And it is cheaper than uh, Subi Speed and uh, everybody else in the market from what I can understand. But at the end of the day, you know, you pay for what you get and uh, trust me, you're gonna get quality. So anyways, uh, stepping aside from that, so the future performance mods that I'm planning on doing. Uh, I want to do a capback exhaust. It's a pretty unique exhaust. Nobody really, nobody's really done anything on it. I'm not sure if it's because it's bad. I mean, it's got a pretty good name in Australia. It, the, the, the brand is called uh, X Force, and uh, they they provide a, um, a specific kind of muffler. The benefit of this muffler is it it, it can be a straight through pipe. And it, it can also turn, it's an adjustable valve, so it can also become like silent, like stock as well. So that's my goal. So I want this to be like a sleeper kind of car. I don't want this to be like a loud, monster, obnoxious kind of thing. I want this to be quiet when I need it to quiet. And when I can, op I can open up that adjustable valve and just let the engine free flow all the way through. I, think, I mean, that's probably going to be the next mod that I'm going to be getting. It's going to be like around 800, 900 bucks. Um, Pete's gonna take care of that for me. I'm not even worried. I'm not even gonna look in the market I, I know he's gonna give you the best price. And I'm just gonna go to him for that since I got the access port I will also actually this is probably what I'm gonna be getting first, but the Grim Speed uh, Stealth intake so I a 
was talking to Pete about this a lot as well, and he's convinced me that, you know, it's one of the best, uh, uh, you know, uh, intakes in the market as of right now. And they came in really late, is uh, according to what he's saying. And that's the reason they don't have a lot of the market share right now, because they came in late. But the reason they're late is because they were doing a lot of research and trying to figure out the best uh, method and if you do go ahead and take a take a look at the Grim, Grim Speed website they talk about how um, they do a lot of research and uh, things like that into figuring out um, what was the best tubing material and all that good stuff so anyways go get, go check that out if you guys haven't checked it out so that's going to be there and so also eventually I'm going to have to get a downpipe um, catted um, like I said I want, I'm trying to avoid a lot of the no excess noise um, I mean, I could go either way, honestly, because I have the muffler, adjustable uh, uh, muffler that I'm planning on getting. So I could go catted or non uncatted. I haven't decided that. So, yeah, I think Mishimoto has one for the CVT, so I might look into that. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. Let me take a break and I'll, I'll, let me get back. Okay, well, I'm sorry about this, but by that time I got back to the car to finish off the rest of the video, it got dark. So... I'm going to upload this video. I'm going to let you guys know about the update. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I will have all the items coming in tomorrow. So I'm going to be posting all that stuff up tomorrow. Like, subscribe, stay tuned. A lot more coming. All right, that's it for today. Peace.